What's going on there, folks? Welcome back. So today we are going to Depot Bay in the kayak. We're going to try to catch some rockfish. And uh, before we begin, I made a post on my website about uh, Depot Bay kayak fishing. It's like a simple guide, what I learned and what I want to share. Of course, I'm no professional, not an expert, but these are just the information that I learned throughout my years fishing in Depot Bay in my kayak. So it's a good um, beginner's primer, so check it out, uh, link below. Um, to, to start off with, I use about a six foot six rod, and I like the six foot six, uh, they're kind of short, and that's what I like because it's just easier to manage, okay? The longer rods, it tends to be kind of uh, awkward to manage on a kayak, because when you're kayak fishing, when you're landing the fish, the fish is right next to you. So you don't really need a long rod. So that's why I use a six foot six and I have a six foot and I plan on switching everything to a six foot because I think it's a lot better for kayak fishing. Um, but this is an ugly stick tiger rod, pretty uh, stiff, uh, beefy rod. Nothing's gonna break it. Um, it's a really good rod. And pair that with a Saragossa. Uh, this is a five, yeah, no, 6,000. Saragossa 6,000 and um, was using 50 pound braid, but I switched all my line to 65 pound braid. Next one up, exact same rod. Um, these ugly stick tiger rods, I really like them. And with that, I paired it with a Shimano Bait Runner 4000D. I really like this reel a lot. It doesn't have a very high gear ratio. 65 pound braid as well. I really like the uh, the um the drag system is really smooth and it's very very strong so bait runner 4000 on this one and on my third rod i have a this is a six foot i really like this rod because it's a little shorter it's just easier to manage when i land fish i don't have to like reach out very far or extend my arm out this way very far because it's a short rod all right and the fish is right next to me when i bring it up so that's why I prefer the shorter rods. I paired it with a pen spin fisher. Is it six or seven? I can't remember. Uh, six, pen spin fisher six. Um, spin fisher six, um, 4,500. Again, 65 pound braid Power Pro. This is a really good combination for bringing in those big lings. All right. And the other reel I use, um, it doesn't have a rod yet is a Sedona 5000. Uh, this is a little cheaper than the other three. And if you want to start off with uh, rock fishing, this is a really good reel. It's only around 60, 70 bucks. Really good drag system, uh, very light, very durable. Um, remember one tip when you're saltwater fishing, when you get back home, Rinse out these reels. It's very important. Rinse it out with a garden hose. Don't use like a really high jet uh, stream. Just like a light spray is all you need. About maybe 30, 40 seconds. That's about it. It's very important to wash out all the salt off your reel so that way, you know, it doesn't corrode the metal. And you also want to get underneath a spool inside that skirt right here. All right. So you just want to make sure you keep it clean after uh, fishing in the salt water. So those are the gear. And for the lures, um, uh, <laughs> there's just so many to list for lures. Anything is gonna work for these rockfish. They don't really care, they're not picky. If you can get inside, um, if you can get it in front of their face, they're most likely going to take it. So like uh, bass grubs, um, jigs, swim baits, and for, for Plastics like a swim bait. Um, I use about a, a one ounce up to a three ounce jig head and For the bigger link cod for the link cods and the, like the cabazon. I use an eight ounce jig head All right, so it ranges quite a bit if you're trying if you're going after rockfish You want to keep the jig head to about one to two ounce um, for the bigger uh, Lings you want to and the cab cabbies uh, You want to use a bigger bait bigger fish. Uh, sorry bigger bait bigger fish and one other thing when you're out there in the kayak in the open ocean where it's very dangerous, have all your stuff rigged up. Have all your gear, your line, everything all rigged up. Um, I bring three rods most of the time. I plan on bringing four from now on. 
and just rigged up with different lures, okay? So when you're out there, you maybe you get a snag, you get, you get cut off. Um, I wouldn't be tying your rig out there. I wouldn't be tying your line again um, because you want to have your focus out there looking around because it is open oceans, very dangerous. You don't have time to like look down, kind of be out of the zone because anything could happen out there. Um, so you want to bring at least three or four rods all rigged up so that way you can switch on the fly when you get hung up and break off. And if you do, if you must uh, tie your rig, just pre-tie some rig at home, put in a Ziploc bag, so that way if you get uh, tangle and you get like a snap off, um, you just like switch it out really quick. Just tie your line to the uh, swivel and then you're done, okay? So you wanna have at least, at least like the lowest amount of downtime as possible because you wanna make sure your attention is not just on fishing, but it's on like being alert out there in the ocean. Another thing I want to uh, offer is stay away from kelp. Kelp is very bad for kayaks, especially pedal kayaks or kayaks with like a blade or uh, uh, a prop because they will get tangled and it's very dangerous. They're not, they won't break off very easily. Kelp are very, very tough. Um, if it gets caught in your prop, it's, it's kind of hard, it's annoying to, move, to remove them. It does take time and time away from, you know, you paying attention to your surrounding so and while you're you know removing the kelp off your prop you're kind of drifting and then if a weight comes from a boat you know you don't have your control over the kayak to orient yourself you know to face a wave so that poses a tipping issue tipping problem so that's very dangerous okay so um, stay away from kelp you know you know where it is um, I put a map on the post that I made um, just to kind of show you where the kelps are at. So that's very important, all right? So, all right, off to fishing we go. So this is this trip was a little scary. It was kind of windy. Um, the waters were a little dark. Uh, it was kind of uh, pretty scary. Um, I never seen dark water like that before. So, but we went out there. Um, we stayed out for maybe two hours. It was kind of dangerous, so we didn't stay out for very long. Um, so here it is. Enjoy the show. Yeah, I know. We're, looks like 9, 10 o'clock is the cutoff time. All right, guys. I don't know if you can hear me. I think you can because I see the microphone is on. Oh, motor works. Hey, hey, hey. We're good to go. We got Lewis coming. Let's go meet the gang. All right, guys. Cut out, Brown Depot. You still looking good to come back at around 9.30, PK? Yeah. Okay. See Adam, right? Yeah. Okay. So, PK, what channel we are? We're going to go on channel 80. 80. Got one more person coming with us. Okay. Hey, Lewis. We'll be on channel 69. We're gonna meet you out there, okay? We're gonna go.
Are they going away? Alright, so I guess we I guess we'll go. People Bay, three kayaks outbound. People Bay, three kayaks outbound. Not too bad at all. So where I go is, I usually just go right near the mouth here, and I try that for 30, 40 minutes. If nothing, I go to the north me. There's a school right below us. Right, right here. Look at the wind. Yeah. So you always want to try to face that way. Uh huh. Because that way, when the oh, boat. Oh, sorry. I... It's a, it's all right. When the boat way comes, you uh -huh. face it. Oh, I'm gonna go here. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> That's okay. We're in a kayak, no plastic. <laughs> Outbound Depot Bay. Outbound Depot Bay. Snagged up. <sighs> it's mine? No, I snagged on the kelp. Alright, Lewis got one. Let's go over here. Come on. You doing okay, Kai? What's up? You're what? The motor's not responding? Do you hear anything? Is your uh It's down all the way it looks like. Yeah. That's down. Right? Well, from the lights that you ride, they're moving. Uh, I don't know if her pair is moving or not. That's Let me see. No, no, no. Keep it on. Keep, keep it on. Yeah. Go ahead and release it and pull it back down. It looks okay. Pull it back down. No, it's off. You gotta do it again. You gotta make sure this is on. Pull it really tight. It has to be on this. Right. So try it. Yeah, that ain't good. No? You bought this new? No. Use one. Um, okay. So the problem is if 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 we get stuck. Uh -huh. If we get stuck out here, we're in trouble. Uh-oh. Because you have to avoid the kelp. Uh -huh. The kelp, because it's really bad for the motor. Oh. Uh, somebody got stuck out here one time and we had to help them, so. Hold on, hold on. Is it working? Don't go over the kelp, okay? okay? You're gonna ruin your motor. So, try to go back out. Try to go back out. Avoid the kelp. Avoid the kelp. Got a link? Yeah, it's long. Oh. I got nothing. Really? Yeah. I'm gonna go try the South Reef. Oh, yes, there we go. 
guys, finally. There we go, finally. Perfect. Barely on too. The little guy. Just a little guy. He's gonna have to do though. Fumbling around. He's a little guy. Let him go. Kind of small. The wind is really picking up. We sure don't have a lot of time. I'm sitting in about 75 foot of water. Sorry guys, no intro today. It's a wacky day. Um, kind of kind of windy out here and I knew it coming in and I don't have a lot of time to fish I think we have a really tight window I think by about nine we have to get off the water there's a front moving in Today. I cannot get myself together today, guys. I cannot get myself together. There we go. There we go, finally. Oh, yeah, he's a good one. guys. Oh, much bigger. A little better. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. All right, all right. Yeah, good one. Keeper. Finally. Man, I cannot get myself together today, Lewis. Yeah, I can't. I'm like screwing up big time. Come on, bitch. Say, ah, oh, my God. Okay, there we go. Oh, I got the fish on. Oh man, I had one on. Dang it. Oh, I still got one on. No, I don't. Do I? Yeah, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Are you kidding me? This easy. Oh no. Okay, now he fights. Oh man, this is one of the sloppiest, sloppiest fish I've ever done at Depot. <clears throat> so that, where's my bonker? Where is my bonker? Okay guys, I'm switching to the feather jig. Yeah, I'm here. Sorry, I was looking for my uh, VHF radio in my bucket. What's up? I got two rockfish. It's kind of slow. Okay. 
I keep on switching and uh, they're kind of finicky today. It's Sure, I'll bounce. I'll bounce. Right behind you. Right behind you. <laughs> it's alright. <laughs> Sounds like there's a lot of things under here. Yeah. But I, they don't buy me anything. What? Oh, maybe I'm too too lightweight. Probably. What are you using? It's like a wire off. Oh, careful, careful, careful. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Guys, they they are finicky today, man. I'm not kidding. I just realized something that's very important and very idiotic of me. I've got my kayak flag. I've got my flag. Wow. Ooh. God, what are you? Well guys, it's 7.15, two fish in the boat. I cannot get them to bite. I'm not sure what's going on. They don't want anything I give them. Oh, there it is. There it is, there it is, right there. Oh. Another guy, another one. Water skiing right in. Oh yeah, he's a little dude, but oh tiny. He's only about close to a pound, maybe one pound. Too small. There are a lot of fish down here and <laughs> they're just not biting. Oh, I missed them. Dang. That time, guys. Yeah, bigger one. Nice. Oh, 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 oh. That's a ling. That's a ling. That's a ling. That is a ling, guys. That is a ling. Oh, that's a ling. Holy smokes. Oh yeah! Woo! 
finally. Oh, mother. <laughs> there it is. Been looking for you, Mr. Rain. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, buddy. Finally. Finally. Been looking for this guy. Okay. So before, before we measure the ling, we're gonna put it back down. Okay? Because that's how we can catch another fish while we're not fishing. First, we gotta measure him to make sure he is 22. <clears throat> they have to be 22. Come here, you. I think he is going to be 22, but come on, you. Okay, come on. I'm pretty sure he's 22. He is. 25, 25 and a half, so he will do. Ugh. Here we go guys, finally. Mr. Ling, that's what we came here for. Felt the tug. Got one, Lewis. Looks like a big one. Oh, not bad. Okay, so with that ling, I just kind of cast it out there and let a pendulum back. He spat out like a giant herring. Oh man, seriously. Is there any whale watch boats out yet? Another one? Another one. Alright guys, just an update about 7.50, no, 7.20. 7.28. You got one? Yeah, I think so. Just stay in one spot. Oh. Nice. Oh. Very nice. Nice. Kai is on. Nice. Thank you, PK, for your big net. <laughs> yeah, no problem. <laughs> you can have it, it's yours. Are you sure? I'm positive. I'll buy it from you. No, you don't need to buy it, it's yours. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Let's go. There we go. There's another one. Find the hole. Oh yeah, he's a good one. Oh yeah, good hooks that guys. There. Oh, 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 whoa. 
No, 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 no. I'm keeping you. I don't think you are going to survive. Don't think you're going to survive. Me too. Yeah. <laughs> it's making me nervous. Like I can't concentrate. <laughs> Where you guys got How many you got so far? I had two and I got one big that I Oh, sweet. Right. Looks like we all caught fish today, so that's nice. First time I thought this is the normal, the windy. Yeah. <laughs> this is about what I expected. I'm a little nervous to be honest. I am a little nervous. Oh Jesus. Huh? Yeah, the wind's getting worse. Hey Adam! I'm gonna go one more hour. Okay. Okay. 830. 8.30. 8.30, I'm gonna head back in, okay? Yeah, that's great. Oh man guys, I'm like, ooh, oh I had a, I had one on. Dang it. He followed it up. He followed it up, dang it. Man, he was near the boat too. But this wind is like, it's getting quite serious, guys. It's getting quite serious. Wow, that was a hit. Wow. Storm runner inbound depot bay. Right here, you're all clear in the hole. Thank you. Oh, I missed a good hit, guys. That was a good hit. Man, oh man. There we go. There we go. Oh no, you don't. Oh no, you don't. Oh my goodness, the little one. He's a little guy. Just a little guy. False alarm. False alarm. Don't count. Guy, yes. how many in the boat? Two. Two, nice. Me? Uh, -huh. uh I think four. Wow, see? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Fine. Kind of slow down? Yeah, I did. How many you got total? Uh, I got four rods and one wing rod. Nice. Three rockfish, one ling. Oh man. Oh, there it 
it goes my lure. Okay, I'm not gonna be greedy, guys. I am move. I'm going in. I am going in. I'm not gonna be greedy. This this is getting too much. All right, guys. I'm going in. Let's go. Let's go back in. Sounds good, man. Okay, guys. I think enough fun for today. It is time. Lewis! Woo! I'll wait for Adam to catch up. man guys what a day it's it's a slow day it's a slow slow day I only got three rockfish and one ling was hoping to get two ling but next time next time it's only about eight was it 805 or something 806 806 but the wind's picking up. I know it's kind of hard to see on the GoPro, but believe me, it is picking up. We all caught fish. None of us are skunk. So that's good. Pretty awesome. Pretty awesome day. A little scary. When I uh, got, I don't know, I just felt kind of nervous the whole trip. I don't know what it is. The wind, the wind is... Starting out, it wasn't too bad, but I don't know why, like, this trip kind of made me nervous or something. I, I don't know why, but we're out of here. I'm in my lure and I, I got a link. Um. <laughs> <laughs> nice problem to have. Yeah. Nice. Oh, it looks like a good one, too. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I don't keep grilling. People tell me they're good eating, but I've... I've eaten them. They're fine. The meat's really, really soft. Yeah, that's what I figured. Yeah, it's, too, it's almost too, like, that's why I don't keep it. It's too soft. I kind of just fall Yeah. Lings and rockfish, man. That's the way to go. Oh, yeah. How many did you end up, Adam? Okay. How many did you end up with? I just kept one thing. Okay. Yeah. Uh, three rockfish, one ling. Nice, man. I should have stuck over here with you guys. <laughs> I just kept, I was on top of a school right there. I was like, any second now. Yeah, it's kind of hard to stay still in this wind. Man. This is... Station, this is I've handheld. Radio check on the your alpha over. Yeah. Go ahead. I'm feeling quite nervous, actually. I know. I would be watching the swell underneath the bridge. It still looks pretty flat. Yeah. Be able to get in, no and go ahead. When I look over you, sometimes you're like, "There's Adam." Nope. Check on That's not Adam. Alpha, like over. you keep on disappearing from the wave. Handheld station, have you back clear? Have you had me over? Station is I have the same, but further out. Yeah. <laughs> well, guys, we're just waiting on Lewis. He's just got a ling reeling in his lure. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. Have you clear? Have you me over? I do the same. Oh. Oh, yeah. As I said before, I was an idiot. I forgot my flag. Oh man, crazy. I forgot my flag. I left the house in a hurry. Was up all night. No sleep. No sleep. All right, Lewis is coming. You know, if it wasn't for the wind, it would actually be pretty nice out here. Yeah. 
We would have, all of us would have got our limit, I, I feel. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. All right, we are regroup and we are heading in, guys. We are heading in. At least you don't have to beach land. <laughs> The entire time, no matter how much fun I'm having, yeah. in the back of my head, I'm always thinking about going back in and what's going to happen. Yeah. Because it's, it's pretty harrowing. Generally, what I try to do is I try to get to where it's like maybe just above waist deep. Yeah. And then if a wave is coming behind me, I just jump out and hold on to the kayak. That works. Okay. But you gotta, you got to time it. Sometimes yeah. Sometimes I'll sit out there and just go out for 15 minutes. Waiting for it to lie down for just a second, and then man, hit the gas. Yeah. So but you you say Cannon Beach? Uh, Pacific City. Pacific City. Yeah. You ever try to uh, go to Fogarty? No, I, I I hit you up on your uh, on your page. Yeah. Because you pay, you posted that thing about Fogarty, and I right. asked you like, do you ever go out there? And you like, I haven't. But uh, I'd like to try. Yeah. Depot Bay, four kayak inbound. Depot Bay, four kayak inbound. Roger, you are all clear in the hole. Thank you. You say we're all clear? Yep, we're clear. It's kind of hard to get skunk out here at Depot. I guess Pacific City is the same thing, huh? What? Like it's really hard to get skunk. Oh yeah, that's actually never happened. Yeah, like they take anything. I mean, at the very least, I've caught one or two fish. Yeah. I'm glad. Well, I'm surprised these people are heading out. I kind of am too. They know the storm's coming in at like 11. Wow. Well, it's not a lot of fishing. It's a lot of pain. It's a lot of pain in the ass for not a lot of fishing. Yeah. Can I, can I see your lane? Do you have it out? Oh, yeah. Just Let curious. Me... Not a, he's 25. Okay, it's about, he's probably bigger than mine. I think mine's like 24. Yeah. There it is. Right nice, there. Dad. Yeah. Make some nice fish tacos with that. Yeah. 
All right, guys. End of the trip. We got in just in time. That wind was just nuts. Here's my catch of the day. Not a very big one, only 25 inches. He's probably about maybe three pounds. And I'm with PNW Kayak, Adam. Hey, what's up, guys? Right there. 24 inch. 24, not bad at all. None of us got skunk. Thanks for uh, tagging along, Adam. Hey, thanks for having me, PK. We'll yeah. Finally meet you in person. Yeah, you yeah. too. And uh, I will put a link to Adam's channel below, so check it out. So we are going to see how Lewis and Kai did. But anyways, um, while I wait for them, I'm just gonna wrap up my kayak and uh, put stuff away. So yeah, we'll definitely do it again, Adam. Sounds like a plan, man. Hey, yeah. Right here, hit me up. Not a bad haul. And I also got four, no, three. Uh, well, total I had five, but the other two was too small, so I let go. So three rockfish, not a, not a bad day. I wish it was a, you know, it was, the bite was more vigorous, but um, I had a slow start, equipment malfunction and all that. My trip is not complete unless something is, you know, something goes wrong. Kai, how was it? It was awesome. Thank you so much for yeah. Let me enjoy you guys. Sure. Thank you. That was awesome. Yeah, thanks for uh, coming along. It's always good to have fishing buddies. And this is your first trip, huh? Right, it's first time. And, and what did you catch? I let's let's a, see your fish. I got a three rockfish. Uh -oh. oh, look at that. Nice. It's so beautiful. Yeah, that's awesome. Great. Good job. Going to have to do it again soon, huh? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, yeah. cool. Thank you again. So yep. All right, Lewis, what's the damage? Oh, you want to see it? Yeah, let's see it, man. You got the hot hand today. Look at that cooler. Woo! Oh, two big links. Look at that, dude. Wow, dude. <laughs> there you go. Dude, what were yeah. we fishing? Just a jig? Yeah. Yeah. Man. This is the lot. Where was it? This one? Is that the one that got your lure? And you were nice. Like, I was reeling it in and we were like, hey, let's go. And I was like, all right. And out of nowhere, I feel just, I was like, am I snag? Yeah. And it was this big one. Wow, dude. Nice. Heck oh, yeah. Great. Nice. Sweet. All right. That's cool, man. We're going to have to do it again. Yeah. Thanks for, for sure. coming. For sure. Yep. Safe drive, all right? Thank you. It's like we got in just in time, dude. That wind is just nuts. I'm surprised you. I was, I was gonna stick it out as long as you were, and I was surprised you were still out there. I was yeah. Like, Man, dude, this is uh, boy. I wanted one more link so bad. <laughs> I wanted one more so bad. I got lucky on the last one. Yeah. yeah. What lure were you using? The same one I always use. Oh, the one you gave me? Yeah. Oh man. I never, it, like they say, if it ain't broke. <laughs> I'm on. Oh, I have to get, and you use mono line, don't you? No, it's uh, it's uh, for low carbon. Low carbon. It's oh. just a liter. I do maybe like four feet. Okay. 